Once again, I'd like to respond to your Twitter and Facebook comments. You guys have left questions for me, and who would I be as a host to not respond to them? And so it is time for the weekly Twitter roundup. First, coming in from Keith Saunders, just wondering what exactly is going on with the common room. Haven't seen any new episodes in a while. Keep up the good work. Uh, that's a very good question. It does pop up every once in a while on videos on TYTU, and I do answer it there, but I want to answer it again because I, go, I want you guys to understand what's going on. Uh, the common room is on a hiatus right now. We will be bringing it back. Uh, things have just been very busy with the, the current TV show shutting down, uh, us switching to a new studio and all of that. I've been very busy, and I know that it probably doesn't look that way since we're eating cookies and drinking beer on it, but the common room is a very time-intensive program to put on. Um, the editing takes forever, and so I just needed a break from it, but it will be coming back. I don't know if it'll be coming back next week or next month, but it will be coming back, no worries. Next, coming from Nicholas Hardesty, talk about Titanfall. I am so pumped about that game now. Uh, I do want to talk about Titanfall. I thought about making a full video about it, but since I haven't actually played it yet, I want to wait until that, until I get my hands on it. Um, I was really hoping to play it at PAX, but now it looks like I'm not going to be going to PAX, unfortunately. Uh, but Titanfall is one of the games that I'm most excited about for the next uh, console cycle. Now, unfortunately, it's not, it's not going to be coming out on PS4, but if you're going to get an Xbox One or play it on PC, I think it's going to be great on either of those. Maybe I'm just accepting the hype, uh, particularly from IGN, but everything that I see about this is making me so excited. Now, first of all, some people are mad that it's multiplayer only. I personally think that that's fine. Um, like, I'm both a, a Call of Duty and Battlefield player, and honestly, the single player is never very good anyway, and I would rather that they put all that time and resources into making the multiplayer as good as possible, because that's what we're going to be playing the most of. And it's not like there's no uh, precedent for this. Like, Unreal Tournament, uh, the Quake games later on, Quake Arena and things like that. Um, I think that for the most part, when it comes, even Halo, like, <laughs> like Blacklight Retribution, so many of them are really at the end of the day only about the, this multiplayer anyway, and so I think that's fine. Um, I wish that, like I said, it was coming out for the PS4, that would be awesome, but unfortunately it's not the case. If you've seen anything about the epilogue system, where at the end of each match, you then go into this sort of semi-scripted thing where one side is trying to escape and the other side is trying to kill them, that's really cool. I, I love that they're breaking, uh, thinking outside the box of what we normally expect from multiplayer uh, match-based sort of things. Uh, that's cool. The graphics look good, but they really, it looks very similar to like Battlefield 3 or something like that. I'm not expecting too much. Thankfully, uh, since the, the Xbox uh, 360 and the PS3 are so old, we're seeing a leap in quality there, but you can really only expect so much. Um, one thing that I like about it is, kind of reminds me a lot about uh, one of the, the shooters I'm playing right now, which is Blacklight Retribution, where you have the infantry and you have the hard suits. It seems kind of similar to that, and I love that. Like, I like that you have all of these people running around and one or two in mech suits. Uh, I think that works pretty well. Um, I don't like the, the balance between those things in Battlefield as much, because I often feel like uh, the tanks and the, the planes and helicopters just, just swamp the rest of the gameplay. And so I'm hoping that they can strike a good balance there. Um, and also, I, I've read about this, I didn't see it in the previews that have been going on recently, but they said there's going to be a lot of, um, like, basically NPCs, like computer-controlled players, and the, the, the goal there is that it allows you to get a lot more kills without constantly being mowed down. I haven't seen that done in a lot of games, but it could be good. Um, so, just the focus on mobility, uh, the graphics look great, I'm hoping for some interesting modes, I think that the Titans are interesting. Um, it looks great, I'm excited. More info could come out that make me uh, scared about it, and I haven't yet decided if I'm going to be playing it on PC, on Xbox One. It really depends on where my friends go, but I'm super excited about it, and expect future videos about it. Now next, Elaine Habamana, uh, Ben Affleck being Batman, your take on it. You could discuss it. Uh, I can discuss it, and I will discuss it. Now, I will uh, produce the caveat first. Uh, I do tend to like the Batman movies, but I would not say that I'm a Batman fan through and through. Um, I didn't really love Christian Bale as Batman. I thought that he was a good Bruce Wayne, but when it came to Batman, like, the fighting was fine, but obviously, as with everyone else, I hated the whole voice thing, the growling. Um, and also, we have to bear in mind that this is also a Superman movie, and so it's probably going to suck no matter what, because those tend to. Um, ben Affleck's fine. He's made a lot of good movies recently. It's not impossible that once you get him in the suit, he could be pretty much like all the other Batmans. And so... I'm leaning towards it's probably not a good casting choice, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. It's Batman. I mean, how good could those movies be anyway? Like, we had the reboot. It was great. I don't expect much in the next few years after that. My preference, honestly, is to not cast uh, Ben Affleck. Michael Fassbender would be good. Don't cast anybody. 
Give it 10 years. Reboot after a while. We don't need constant reboots like with Spider-Man, with the Hulk. Like, give it a couple years off. We, we can find other movies to watch and be just fine. And so at the end of the day, maybe he'll be good. Like, everybody likes to say Heath Ledger was derided when that casting decision came out and that ended up being great. So maybe Ben can surprise us. Finally, Eric Yu uh, says, question, on your weekend shows, who is there besides you to help you with, her, with your insert witty uh, show name here? Keep it up. Uh, yeah, and like I said, that title is not going to be there forever. I just haven't gotten around to changing it. Uh, thank you for the keep it up. I will try to. Um, so the, the easy answer is, for the vast majority of the time, absolutely nobody is here to help me out. Um, thankfully, this show is set up in a way that I don't need an active director. I do most of the directing and post by adding graphics and things like that. And so for 95% of the time, there is nobody here to help with graphics, with the editing, with directing, with setting up, anything like that. Now, there are a couple of exceptions to that. Every once in a while, uh, Mark Register will be in the studio and he will help me set up the shot because it's hard to focus and all that when you don't have a person actually sitting in the chair. Um, and so he has helped me with that. Uh, but for the most part, it's just me. And honestly, that's the way it's got to be because this is not a TYT Network show. I know that the distinction is hard to track sometimes because that's very inside baseball. Um, but this show is not actually on the TYT Network. It's just a personal show that I shoot in the TYT studio with TYT, uh, with TYT equipment. Um, and so long as I'm not using uh, company resources in terms of people's time and stuff like that, it's very easy to continue to do that. And so who knows, maybe at some point in the future it will be a TYT Network show, in which case I hope to get help. But for now, it's just me. So uh, those are the questions for this week. If you have questions you'd like me to answer in the future, keep them rolling in. You can tweet me at Jay Adarola. You can uh, put them in the comments of this video. I always look forward to hearing from you guys.